Hey everyone, this is a quick apology before starting this video. I'm having a little bit problem with my voice and I'm not feeling well, so I apologize if, uh, yeah, if it's a little bit different than, pre than regularly. Hey everyone, Shasta here. I hope you're having a great day because I have another new and hopefully very exciting update video for you and Dauntless. Dauntless is getting a big update coming with patch 0.8.0. And the main event of this is going to be the Dauntless Dice. They're going to get a whole new rework. It's going to get a complete rework with a lot of changes. The biggest one being splitting the big bundles into smaller ones of three. We will get 13 sets of curated die trios. These sets will contain three dice which work well together and have a sort of a team behind them. Currently on the screen you can see the Monarch Trio which has rich royal hues, glided tempest and alabaster. Once you get the set you can apply them together or separately. The choice is yours. The dice will also be getting both new names and prices to accommodate the other changes. Each trio set will cost either 125, 350 or 600 platinum, which will make them a lot more expensive than they currently are. So I advise you guys, if you care about looks and your character style, buy all of them now while they cost a lot less. A few dice from pre-patch 0.8 will not be available after it releases, so it's a good idea to buy those at least now. They're Blood Moon, White, Black, Black Pearl, Peach, Ashen Brown, Straw and Dust. Any dice you get before the new patch will remain with you for all eternity even if Thanos snaps his fingers once again. With the new patch, some dice will also be obtainable only through Heroic and Heroic Plus Behemoths. This is great news since you have a way to obtain cosmetics through gameplay rather than with real life money. You will start getting more rewards for playing the game and spending time of it, which is exciting and which is awesome. This is a step into a good direction and I want to give the thumbs up to Phoenix Labs for this. Even if the dice will be hard to acquire and also depend on luck, it is still a great change to the game. Two new dice are getting added specially for this, the Sub-Zero, Deep Sapphire and Sovereign, the Deep Emerald dice, which I presume will be obtained from either Boreas and and Koshai. Another alternative is uh, actually quite possible that we will obtain one of them from Winterhorn Scribe with the update and get one of the dice from him. It's just a speculation, but it's a possible, highly possible speculation. Additionally, Hunt Pass Season 5 will be the first one to feature die rewards as level rewards. The bad news is that they will only be available to a lead track for which you need to spend a thousand platinum, which sucks because you do need to spend a bit of money on it. The first one added will be Quicksilver and Bloodless dice. Probably the best news is that we're getting a third region for coloring on our armors, which is awesome. I'm happy that they're giving more customizations to the armors. This was something a lot of people wanted and I'm happy that we're finally getting it. All that's left is to get a little bit more weapon customization and coloring and it will be perfect. The problem with this addition however is that it will be added post patch 0.8 and that it will be not to all of the armors. Most of them currently available are gonna have it and we know for sure from the screenshots that Rift Stalker will get them but not every single armor piece will get a third region which sucks but that's how it goes guys. Anyways this is everything for this video as always guys and girls thanks for watching be sure to like it or dislike it as you see fit and also drop a comment down below with feedback. Also remember to check the links in the description to my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Discord community and Facebook page where I invite you to follow me. Finally of course if you want to see more content like this then subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon in order to get notifications. That's everything for me for this video. See you in the next one. Shadow Strider out. Take your time.